Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air Frozen. Today I'm looking for the water signs, which consists of Pisces, Cancers, Cancers, <laughs> and Scorpio. Pisces, Cancers, Scorpio. How you guys doing? This is the daily reading for y'all. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and notification bell to keep track of when I'm making more videos. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me or shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. All right, water signs, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with the water signs? Okay, so someone is attempting to make you weak, okay? They are calling you irresponsible. They see you as irresponsible water signs, okay? Could be a cancer here. All right, could be a cancer that thinks you are irresponsible and weak. All right, feel like you've left this person in the dust, okay, because they cannot stand the loneliness that they're in currently. So that they're lying and making up, oh, whew, they're lying and they are um, spreading false rumors about you. Okay, yeah, they're not disciplined about it. The discipline card is in reverse. All right, they're not a disciplined person. Woo. They have no empathy towards you yet in relationship. Okay, so you 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 ended this connection. Um, and they're very, very, very upset that that is happening. So because of that, they, they wanted you to stay around. Okay, so it could be a friend. It could be... Uh, a love a love affair it feels like a love affair okay um but yeah they're calling you weak because they feel like you should have stayed even through all the bullshit that they put you through they they didn't think that you should walk away <laughs> there's no balance and there's no courage here they don't have the courage to say how they really feel okay you don't trust this person all right, this person has been doing a lot of wickedness and foolishness towards you, and you finally decided that you deserve better. You finally decide to put yourself first. And, then, and by you doing that, you know, you've cut cords with this person. Now they're blaming you. They're blaming you for all the things that's happening in their life, especially emotionally. So I feel like they were just holding on to you emotionally, okay? Yeah, you went through a spiritual awakening recently. Okay, with this person, this person had a lot of hidden things that you weren't aware of. And this could have been years, months into years, okay? Um, and through your spiritual awakening, through you going through your um, your hermit mode, a lot of things were, uh, were revealed to you, okay? There's going to be some legal matters here, so you could be dealing with someone that you may have children with. Okay, there are going to be some legal matters here. Um, and this person wanted to, to doubt yourself. So they always, anytime that you would speak to this person, they will push a lot of a lot of hate, a lot of negativity towards you, which in return made you doubt yourself a lot, okay? But like I said, you went through a spiritual awakening and you, you were uh, privy to the messages and the downloads and the things like that, the dreams. Um, that this person was doing to you. Yeah, children is here, so you're going to have to go to court. Legal matters with the court system here. Okay, yeah, this person is calling you weak and irresponsible. They want you to doubt yourself. They want you to doubt yourself because they, they don't want you to be... Hmm, they, they don't want you to, 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 to think for yourself. They want you to always be up, up underneath them all the time, okay? Could be a Sagittarius involved here or a friend. That's a Sagittarius, okay? Or maybe you have a friend that you're speaking to um, that that can also be calling you irresponsible a week, okay? Take it how it resonates, all right? Maybe someone has Sagittarius in their chart and someone has Cancer in their chart, but like I said, take it how it resonates. But yeah, somebody sees you as weak, but you're not, there's nothing weak about you. They just continues to just wanting to fight unnecessarily, okay? But the thing is, they don't have... The way that they're feeling is like, <laughs> <clears throat> the way that they're feeling, they would never tell you exactly how they feel. So they don't want you to move forward, but they won't tell you that. So on the, on looking inwardly from the outside, it looks like this person doesn't like you, right? It, it's giving me, it's giving me five-year-old vibes. It's giving me five-year-old vibes. 
This person portrays that they don't like you, but deep down inside they love you. That's not love, okay? I'm just going to make that a whole big ass disclaimer. That ain't no fucking love. But this is just what I'm channeling, okay? So stick with me. So they give off the impression that they don't like you, but deep down inside they love you. They want to stick with you. They want to stay with you, or they don't want you to move forward, okay? Um, they tell everybody how you, they portray you to everyone as weak and irresponsible. But they know the truth. They know that's not that's not really your character, okay? It's just that they like to save face and they they look good. They like to look good for the public or the public eye, okay? What people what people say to them or about them, it really matters, okay? There is definitely a pregnancy involved here. So what a sign you may be pregnant, okay? Or maybe you're dealing with a third party that got somebody pregnant. And there's also a high priestess here as well. So someone that is into the arts. It's very aware of what's going on. It could be that this high priestess is pregnant. <coughs> okay, well, this high priestess is a liar, okay? So there's a high priestess that is involved here, okay, with this pregnancy, but that pregnancy is a lie, all right? I did it <laughs> like this yesterday. We to be good, we going like this into the second year? I mean, to the second day of the new year? <laughs> Somebody is very abusive, so they, they abuse their power, okay? They are mentally abusive, emotionally abusive, all right? And you have to establish boundaries, or you have established boundaries with this person because you said enough is enough. This person that you're dealing with is also bisexual as well, too, so got a lot of things that you're not privy to, you're not aware of at this moment, okay? Could be a Taurus, okay? And maybe they are in this earth energy, okay? Take it how it resonates. Whoops. <laughs> Use a fake empress here. So going back to that um, high priestess, the high priestess is a fake empress. Okay, someone that maybe is not in. They may think they know the arts, but they're not really into the arts. Like they they think that they are. Okay, baby witch, a beginner, basically. Hey, all this stuff just, whew, just flipping out. <laughs> Yeah, this person is bad luck to you. All right, this person is bad luck. Why bad luck? Friendship. Yeah, you had to let go of this person. I feel like once you have let go of this person, your money start to come back up. Abundance. Gratitude. Yeah, you're showing more gratitude for all the things that has transpired, good and bad. Okay, so if this is someone dealing with a um, mother, mother of their kids, father of their kids, see how it resonates because the rules can be reversed. But someone is dealing with someone's, um, the, the parents of the child, okay? They're going to try to come back here and sweeten you up, okay? But I feel like they're just sweetening you up to break you back down. So be careful of this person that's trying to come back in. Yeah, they're only trying to come back in for your money, okay? They're only trying to come back in for your money. They see that you're doing really well for yourself, okay? And they're going to be coming in with a lot of sweet nothings. And it's trying to, trying to reflect that onto you. So that way they can come in for the kill, basically, your money. They don't have any good intentions. Yeah, they don't have any good intentions for you, water signs. Hmm. Caution. Let me lower this down a little bit. See, this is caution. They don't have anything good for you. Um, and the thing is, they're not coming in with fear because they feel like what they're going to do is going to be very successful. All right. They feel like that they're not going to be made out for the bullshit that they're getting ready to do. Like I said, they're not here for your happiness or for love. They're only here for your money. So be very, 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 very careful of this creature. Because that's what they are. They're a fucking creature. Yeah, they just want you to be in their, their lair, their web, their web of lies. They want to trap you in their web of lies. And they have been speaking very ill or very negative about you in the community, okay? They have a, a um, they have a, a type of energy or character, characteristic to, to them. Or not, I'm going to say characteristic. They have a, um, someone tell them to jump, they're going to say how high. So like I said, they are a person that is very concerned about how others view them, 
So I know this ain't true word signs because y'all don't give a F about what people think of y'all. This person really thinks about how people view them, okay? Perception is everything to them. So they're like a, a, a frog, a leapfrog. Like anytime somebody say jump, you say, hey, how high, okay? So they're not they're not comfortable in their skin. They're not comfortable in their body, okay? They're actually very scary as well, too. Like I said, because they give off they it's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type energy. Uh, deep down inside, they have a love for you, which is not, this is not love, okay? But this is just what they're portraying it to be. They have a deep love for you. They'll never tell you that. But on the outside of it, it would, they always come off as if they hate you, but they don't. It doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's either you do or you don't. Which one is it? How you, how you doing both? That don't make sense to me. Um, that's just a, a weird ass flex. You ask me. That's just weird if you ask me. Yeah, they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stuck in this cycle. They don't want you to move forward. But good luck because we're the sign you finally have left this person. Okay? You finally left this person. You finally put yourself first. That's good. Yeah, you real cold hearted order signs. You real cool, cold hearted. You can give two F's about this person. The pathway. They think that the pathway to come back to you is open, but it's not open. They're going, they're going to be in the shock of their life. Official person is in reverse. They're not the official person that you may have thought they were. There's a lot of things that you're not aware of this person that they hide really well. Lover's card is in reverse. So yeah, they're trying to come back to you. They're trying to um, create a whole new journey, but this journey is going to be turned completely upside down, as you can see here. And once they decide to return, you're not going to accept. You're going to say no. The lover's card is in reverse. The main male card is here. It's also in reverse too. So yeah, this person is not, could be a man, like a man, uh, could be an adult, but acts like a fucking child. <laughs> <coughs> this person is in bad health. Ooh, this person is in bad health. They are in despair as well, too, that you no longer give them any time of day. Okay, this is going to be put to rest or has been put to rest for the signs. Like, you are completely, like, just done with this person. Get tired of letting them treat you like crap. Oops. Yeah, courthouse is here. So, it could also mean a divorce as well, too. So, someone is going to be going to court to get a, a, a divorce, and that's going to go through. All right, congratulations, man. Ooh, divorce is something beautiful, child. Ooh, yes. Okay. Shit. Yeah, this person feels like they're wealthy, but they're not. They may come off as if they're wealthy, but like I said, it's all about the perception of other people. So they, they talk a good game, and they kind of big up themselves to make people um, portray them to be something that they're really not, okay? So let me just pull out my own, my dice. Let me just pull up my days. This is it. Let's see. Who's all here? Uh, this is Pisces. Okay, we have Pisces here. We have Aries. Oops. What flew off? We have Sagittarius involved in here. And we have Capricorn. This is Capricorn, right? Leo. This is Leo. Leo, Leo. Capricorn and Leo look the same. Let me double check. This is Leo. Leo. All right. So those are the energies that are involved here. Take it how it resonates. All right. Uh, water signs. That's all I have for you all today. If it resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Also, leave a comment as well, too. I read the comments. All right. So next time, water signs. Peace.